Hi, my name is Amber and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a Valentine's Day look. So the highlight of this lit, or sorry, the highlight of this makeup look will be the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I know I'm super late on this, but I was really thankful that my friend Diana purchased this palette for me for my birthday, which just recently passed. So here are the colors that I'm going to be working with today. So I'm going to use exclusively, um, I'm going to exclusively use this palette for the eye look that I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to start by priming my lids with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I did my brows off camera. I'm not really too big on brows, so I just kind of fill them in very lightly, but I will be getting them done soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the colors in here, and I think I'm going to start by doing my lid with this, this purple, or this pink shade right here. Not really, Venetian Red, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'm just patting that. Wow, this is a really, really pretty color. I'm just patting that on the center of my lid. So my eyes are pretty big, so I have a lot of space to work with, and I really like using that to my advantage. And I'm just gonna go in with it on the other side. So I am gonna pair this look with a really really bright red and I don't want to like overwhelm it or anything so I'm definitely going to try to tone this look down I just want to have something like really really romantic and sweet and pretty I don't know I'm not gonna be spending this Valentine's Day with my boyfriend but pictures do not lie so I don't want to be coming up on this camera looking ridiculous you know he has to know that regardless of how far I am, you know, I come looking correct. So I want you guys to look correct too, okay? And I'm putting Antique Bronze, which is this color, right here on top, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm like, honestly, so in love with this palette. And um, normally like my favorite palette is the Subculture palette, but I think I've been converted. Like this has all the pigmentation that the Subculture palette has by Anastasia. However, it doesn't have like one fourth of the fallout. And I, I cannot believe that both of these palettes are made by the same company. It's really night and day. So that wasn't as bright as I was like looking for. So I'm gonna go in with, I think it's Vermeer. I don't really know how to pronounce this one, but on camera, it looks like almost white, but that's just cause my lighting. Here, let me swatch in the back of my hand so you guys can get a look. So it definitely is more bright compared to antique bronze which is what I was using before antique bronze definitely swatches like way less shiny and a lot pinker too oh, here we go this is a good angle so I'm gonna go in with that color on top to try to brighten it up and I'm looking at what I think might be my crease shade and I think I might go with burnt orange because it looks like it looks like a really good transition shade color so my undertones are very yellow. Um, the cam the lighting in this video is making my skin look even more yellow than it is. But um, yeah, I do definitely have a yellow undertone. So even though I'm looking at this one, Cypress Umber, which is this one, which is what I was considering as my transi transition shade, it's closer to my skin tone, like my complexion, because I am a little bit darker than Burnt Orange. Um, because it has a similar undertone, I'm thinking like, you know, it's probably going to be a better go for my transition shade. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like needing to pay a little bit more attention. I'm not in a rush like I was in my previous video, but you know, girls still don't want to take forever. So this is some burnt orange going right up here and it kind of just blends right into my skin. So I could go a lot brighter with the eyes, but... I really, really, really want my lips to be the star of the, sh star of the show, you know, kissable lips on Valentine's Day, so romantic. Yes, I know I'm hyping it up quite a bit, but hey, this is YouTube. 
And I'm going to take it all the way up to the brow. And I mean, you don't really have to do that, but I'm definitely doing that because I need to get my eyebrows done. And I'm trying to mask those little baby hairs because I'm like a little baby. When they start uh, ripping it off, like I'm not trying to pluck anything before then because I will tear up. So I'm still not quite satisfied with like how vibrant it is. So I might go in with another palette. My handy dandy Naked 2 palette, which never lets me down. Excuse how used and abused it is because it is my favorite palette. You can see I've hit pan on quite a few shades. I'm going to go in with the Verve on top, which is the silver color in this palette. And just try to brighten it up. Because once I put my eyeliner on, it won't be as bright, I feel. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner, and it definitely is my favorite, uh, mainly because it's cheap and it's super black, and I don't really have a problem with it coming off either. So, I don't know why I decided to do my eyeliner on camera this time. I totally did not have to subject myself to this. Okay. And please excuse my face monster in between my eyes. I wear glasses and when my glasses press against my skin, it causes little face monsters sometimes. So rest assured, when I put my glasses on, you won't even be able to see it. Also, uh, comment down below if you want like a tutorial for how to do makeup when you wear glasses. Also, one thing I noticed about the e.l.f. eyeliner is it doesn't irritate my eyes. Um, I have pretty sensitive eyes and regardless of what brand I use for eyeliner, it tends to like cause them to like itch and burn a little bit, but I haven't had that problem with e.l.f. Oh God, don't come for me. I knew I shouldn't have done this on camera. Oh Lord. Oh no. Okay. We're just gonna have a really dramatic for no reason eyeliner. Please do not come for me or my edges in the comment section down below. I will be doing my hair. Don't worry. I'm not going to come out here busted and crusted, okay? Trust and believe. Okay, so I normally don't like my eyeliners this dramatic, but they're going to be this dramatic today. And I might go off camera and fix them because they're a tad bit crooked, but... They're always sisters, never, <laughs> or they're always, what is it, cousins, never sisters, or something like that. Or people say that about their eyebrows, but I'd be saying that about my winged eyeliner. So I'm going to take this Mega Protein Eyeliner by Wet n Wild. I'm going to go in. I like using these because they're super accessible. You can get them at, like, any drugstore, really. I used to use the Rimmel Telescopic Eyeliner, but I wasn't able to find that. So I just picked this up instead. Oh. And pro tip, so if you mess up your eyeliner like me, this is what I'm gonna do to fix it. Sorry, I have all these drawers, drawers upon drawers. I take a Q-tip, a little bit of foundation, dab it in there, or a lot of foundation if you're like me. Go underneath it and just like, there you go. And then redo the tip specifically so I normally just like do it like that and let it dry corrected and when you let it dry correct like don't pat it down or anything just go like that let it dry then you can like you see how it went a little bit on my eyeshadow you can just like literally just pat that over with a little bit more of your eyeshadow and then go ahead and fix the tail on your eyeliner and it'll turn out Amazing. I pinky pinky promise. Okay, so I'm the queen of the inner corner highlight. I love them. So I'm going to try uh, Primavera in the corner, which is a, uh, a golden color. Here, I'll just show you. I'll swatch it on my hand. Oh, I don't think I grabbed enough. There we go. That's a good color. So you can see this is like golden and this is like a white silvery color like it's not quite as bright. Okay. Oh that's beautiful. I don't know what it is but like when you add it in the inner corner like look at this one. 
and then look at that one like I don't know what what it does it just makes me look like I'm a professional like obviously that's goals right comment down below if you're trying to look like a professional too like you do this for a living like can't nobody mess with you now you know you got to be shiny okay so this is my black radiance highlighter in rose gold and trust and believe I have used it and abused it and it's probably time to get another highlighter so look at that glow and guys four dollars like you cannot beat that like seriously and even though it is by black radiance which is like targeting African Americans, people with like brown skin tones, I'm pretty sure this is gonna look beautiful on anyone. This color is just so amazing and I'm going like a little bit crazy with it. But I have dimples so I try to like, I really try to highlight that like, I should make that my thumbnail. Okay, can I use more? I might have to, I have a big old forehead so I gotta let it shine, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the last and finishing touch. This is also by Black Radiance in the color Red Hot Babe. It's one of their Brilliant Effects lip glosses. So it is a part of their Christmas collection, so I don't know if you'll be able to find it, or maybe this time next year you'll be able to find it. I'm just swatching on my, my hand. So you can see, look at that. Look at all those colors. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And you'll have kissable lips, but like don't kiss me though, because this will transfer, it transfers like crazy, but you will be looking good at that restaurant. I think I'm never gonna be satisfied with this eye. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I have really, really full lips. I'm so blessed. And this has been my color. four dollars like look I'm gonna come through with those bargains for you okay the eyeshadow was a little expensive but I mean everything else snatched on a discount okay so this is my final look uh, I will be doing a part two of this which will be my hair tutorial so check that out in the next video and it was great doing my makeup with you it was great doing a tutorial so comment down below what are you going to be doing for valentine's day do you have a boo do you want a boo i can hook you up i know some people that are single so let me know what you're trying to do also comment down below if you're enjoying being single if you love being by yourself let me know and let's keep this conversation going and i'll see you in the next one bye